Hi there, Frank here for premium members for the trading day of August the 20th, 2024, a Tuesday. All right, let's review where we are. Breakout on the ES. No surprises. We expect this previous pivot to be tested, 5,700. NQ did the same thing today. You can also use correlation. One happened before the other. So if you watch these correlated markets, then this trade was relatively expected. Well, it was expected anyway, but the execution itself was not complicated. And also the YM is testing the previous pivot. Remember, this is range bound right now. We expected that this price will visit the other end of the edge here or the range here. That's what's happening. And RTY, last but not least, has triggered on the four hour chart. So we have a good trade in progress on the RTY. We expect 2300. Remember, we mentioned that a few days ago. So no surprises on the indexes. The stampede continues. And let's move on to currencies on which we have a couple of good ones here. One R on the 6E. Look at this. And remember, we started here, identified the volatility compression on the weekly. So if you're new to premium, then go back maybe a week or five days so you can follow the story on the daily chart, how we work on this trade. And let's look at some of the other currencies. If you were active on 6A, beautiful, started with this bottom tail, 1R plus. 6B was stellar in the past couple of days. Look at this. That's about two R's maybe, roughly. And we're testing the previous pivot. Canadian dollar is also beyond 1R. And let's see what else we got here. We looked at the 6N. Here we go, beyond 1R. We're at the upper Keltner here. And also crossover on the triple R. Remember that the first pullback is potentially an important one. Okay, let's move on to precious metals, our other favorite markets here. One R on six, I'm sorry, one R on GC. We have broken out as we have expected. Also, note the lesson here, please. We had a couple of attempts which were not successful. This is just the treacheries and the difficulties of breakout trades first breakout first breakout failed second failed third fourth this is the fifth attempt so breakout trades are not easy all right but this is what it is and this time we got the one r on the four hour chart and also the weekly is convincingly now is breaking to the upside okay si the other market we've been preaching about is also moving beautifully. This pattern, remember, was identified about 10 days ago. As always, ETFs are available if you require that for risk management purposes. The four hour chart is pretty obvious and it's also a measured move, which is also typical. You see, measured move and a pullback trade. And then we had wheat. Wheat is not my first choice. So let's look at it since we talked about it. It still hasn't triggered. It could trigger, but we have other stuff to worry about here. Other good markets to trade tomorrow. And I hope you're active on the indexes, on currencies, and on metals. And whichever is your choice, I hope you're having a good time. These are, relatively speaking, of course, easy market conditions. Of course, nothing is easy, but relatively speaking, these are pretty obvious, straightforward times. And just a note, this will change. And we're ready to change sides when the time comes, okay? So when we test this 5,700, there are going to be targets sitting there, and that's going to be a whole new story, but we're not there yet. So remember, this is how we think about the situation on the indexes. Okay, enough. Let's meet tomorrow morning and we'll look at the markets and also keep an eye on the intraday folder just in case there's some stuff happening intraday on smaller charts. Thank you very much and mindful trading.